new revelations and details about the murder. Even today, Shankola Robinson's mysterious death and its prolonged investigation is still a popular topic for discussion on the web and is often touched upon in the media and is often touched upon in the media and in the headlines of articles. The plot thickens. What did the TV presenter Nancy Grace say about this? And how does the mother of the deceased live now? Will this incident be over in favor of Angela's parents? Or will the killers never end up behind bars? Hi everyone, you are on the Celeb Live channel. Today we will once again talk about recent information about Shane Quelle's murder. Let's find out new details together. This is not the first video about Robinson on our channel. For those who don't follow the news or have not seen our previous videos, let us bring you up to date. Birthday, vacation, Mexico. In October, friends went to rest. Three women and three men, some of whom have been identified as Khalil, Cookie, Malik C. Patrick Dyer, Winter Essence Donovan, Alyssa Michelle Hayat, Deja Nichelle Hayat, Deja Hani Jackson, Nazir Wiggins, for a short vacation stay. Shankola settled in a villa in the city of Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, with ocean view, five luxury bedrooms, open kitchen. The cost is about $1,300 per night. The company had a great time together. Shankwala called her mother, Salamander Robinson, sharing her emotions and promised to call back the next day. Shankwala Robinson arrived on October 28, and on October 28, and on October 29, she passed away. The cause was serious injuries in the neck area. Shankwala died at the age of 25. The death certificate obtained by news agencies states that Robinson died from severe spinal cord injury and dislocation of the atlas. According to VK Veterinary Clinics, atlanoaxial dislocation, or ATLAS, dislocation is a condition in which there is unstable or excessive mobility of the first two vertebrae of the neck. The first two bones of the neck are called ATLAS and AXIS. ATLAS is the first bone present in the neck and located closest to the skull. People die every day, but not the way Shankella died. So-called friends of the Shankwella stubbornly claimed that the cause was poisoning with low-quality alcohol because there are problems with this in Mexico. But after the autopsy, no alcohol was found in the body. But the same video that appeared on the internet explained a lot, for example, how a woman broke her neck, it would seem, in a circle of close people. The video quickly caused dissonance and became widely discussed, especially by Twitter users. As we all know, in that frightening video, Shankella is beaten by her friend and other so-called friends don't even try to separate them? Only a man's voice could be heard in the background. Can you at least fight back? Only one question remains. Where's at least some humanity? Presumably, it was the voice of Kalo, her friend, whom even Shankella's mother, Salamander Robinson, trusted. His mother contacted him many times by phone, and it was he who informed her that the girl was not well. After his death, he helped transfer the deceased's belongings and hypocritically tried to show empathy for the Robinson family. Can you imagine what it's like? When your daughter is on the verge of death, you cannot achieve clarity or justice. How painful it is not to be able to see a loved one who I have raised most of my life and with whom I spoke just a day ago. As we have already told in previous videos, a doctor was called to a woman in a serious condition, but they refused to take her to the hospital. It's not hard to guess that Shankella really needed emergency help, but her friends had completely different plans. Shankella's father has repeatedly expressed dissatisfaction with the futility of this investigation and the inattentive attitude of the Mexican authorities to the murders in his own country. But even now, the exact motives of the murder are not known. Later, an equally disturbing video also appeared, in which the victim was resting in a hammock and voices were heard off screen. Oh, we got our first corpse. Dead body, 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 body. At the moment, Justice for Shankwala was already trending on Twitter, and everyone expected that the police would arrest Cabo Six, but this has not yet happened. As it turned out later, the company was resting entirely at the expense of the girl. Shankwala took about our 10,000 with her and the so-called friends did not hesitate to take the remaining money. But it is unlikely that this was the main reason for the murder. It is not the first time that TV presenter Nancy Grace has spoken expressively about this mystical and, at the same time, unfair story. As Nancy recently said, they don't it only beat the woman. They also video this girl getting killed. And then they lie about the cause of death to her mother. And it will be the day when the hell freezes over that I stop seeking justice for Shanquella Robinson. As Shanquella's mother recently said, her daughter was very excited about the trip. She had a chief there and was eating some tacos. It seemed to be a perfect holiday. To this, Salamander Robinson just texted, I love you. We will talk tomorrow. Be in touch. And that were literally the last words to her child. So what is actually going on at this point? Nancy tries to go as far as she can to help the suffering family. After factual statement by Dr. Tim Gallagher with Nancy regarding the reason of the death, he clearly pointed out that the neck was broken, cervical vertebral column was dislocated from the skull, and it caused her instant death. The entire murder might have been planned beforehand. It does not look like a spontaneous quarrel that has gone far. It is more like a prepared beforehand. The main aggressor and all six friends together got into the room and took their positions. One woman kept beating Shanquella without breaks and showed no mercy. As the result, these people by all means tried to persuade her mother that it was Shankwella's fault who did not know limits with alcohol. As Salamander Robinson said, quote, the couldn't get a pulse 
Each of the people that was there with her was telling different stories. After they said it was alcohol poisoning, we received the report on Thursday and it said that her neck had been broken. That took it to a whole other level because that meant somebody had attacked her. The end of the quote, Shanquella's body is now back home. Her mother was heartbroken, seeing her dead. She still has no idea why she deserved this. According to her words, she loved just everybody and had a gold heart. This case has been fully clarified. We even have a court order. There is an arrest warrant issued for the crime of killing a woman to the detriment of the victim and against the alleged perpetrator, her friend, who is a direct aggressor. Her friend, who is a direct aggressor. In fact, it was not a quarrel, but direct aggressions. Daniel De La Rosa Anaya, the local prosecutor of the state of Beijing, California, told Absi, we are following all relevant procedures, such as notifying Interpol and requesting extradition to the United States of America. We are talking about two Americans, a victim and a criminal. The sudden disappearance of the main suspects in the murder gives even more space for reflection. By the way, you may not believe it, but fans and caring people tried to figure out and contact the suspect. In particular, they found the phone numbers of some of the participants in the crime and called them. But of course, they did not receive an answer. Many of unanswered questions are still lingering around to be answered by the authorities. Even though Robinsons can only dream about justice, the video brought storm to TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. So the case does not remain unseen. Brooklyn Nets star Kiri Irving recently donated $65,000 to help pay for expenses and legal fees for Shanquilla's family. There is quite a large number of people who also expect fair ending of this story. As Salam Adra Robinson recently said, I appreciate the ones working so hard to get justice done. We are not done yet, but we are going to get there. There also has been a rally going by the hashtag justice for Quella. Bring justice for Shane Quella Robinson. We came to ensure there is enough people putting pressure on the entire system to do what is necessary to get justice for this woman, said Tamika Mallory, an activist who attended the woman's funeral. Losing a loved one in the heinous way in which has happened to Shanquella, there will probably never be peace for them, she said. But there cannot just be an open situation. It has to be closed with truth, and it has to be that there is accountability for those that are responsible for her death, Mallory added. Charlotte City Councilman Braxton Winston said, I am here to bring words to the Robinson family and to the community of Charlotte. I will be honest, it is tough, it is hard. Even former class of Shanquella could not ignore it and shared some good words. Salamander Robinson said that her daughter's body has returned home, but she has a lot of questions about the death and she wants justice to prevail. Basically, that is all what we have at this point. Investigation still has not been completed and we can only wait. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss anything. There will plenty of interesting news here.